Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another week of Instagram stories. If you guys are new here, welcome. Me and Lambo say what's up. What's up? And um, yeah, without further ado, um, we are about to watch my week in Instagram stories. So if you guys want to watch me live, just let, you know, subscribe to my Instagram. You know, just click on the link somewhere in the bottom there, and um, you get to watch um, my daily antics live. In fact, you're going to see plenty of things on the Instagram feed that you're not going to be able to see here. Um, this is just like uh, kind of like a review of uh, pretty much what I did all week. Um, also, if you want to watch this uh, in its best way possible, watch it on your phone, on your tablet, somewhere where it's horizontal and not vertical. Wait, I mean, somewhere where it's vertical and not horizontal. You know what I'm saying? So that way you don't get those bars on the side and it looks really good and, you know, I look sexier than usual. Anyways, all right, guys, well, without further ado, um, enjoy the rest of the show. Oh, man, I was stuck behind the computer all day. And I uh, completely forgot I got to go and run a quick errand. So I'm on my way out there, uh, see if I can get a little bit of sun, uh, not too burnt, and uh, see if we can uh, knock this out and uh, so I can get back home and uh, take a shower and just finish up what I got to do so I can get ready for the weekend because the weekend's tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so the place that I was trying to come to out here was uh, closed, and the closest one is all the way in its centro and i'm like you know what i don't feel like walking like 20 some odd minutes to, to go out there right now so i'm just gonna walk back home and uh i'll just go back tomorrow because i gotta go out there tomorrow anyway i gotta go see a friend and help him out you know with uh, some computer stuff so i'm just gonna go down there tomorrow and uh, kill two birds with one stone but the one positive thing out of all this right now was the fact that like um i got to save 15 percent of my car insurance Actually, the real positive thing is that like I got to get out, walk a little bit, get some sun, and film a little bit for you guys. So now you guys have something to watch right now, and then later on next Sunday when I, you know, do my thing, uh, right? My regular weekly upload uh, for my Sunday um, Instagram story um, weekend review or whatever the hell. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here and enjoy the walk, and I'll see you guys later. Hey, 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 happy Friday morning to you guys. No rest for the wicked. Making my coffee, already been working a little bit this morning. I gotta head out and, uh, well, first of all, let me pour this coffee in here. Hold on. Uh, I know, horrible. But anyway, okay, we made it. Yay! Minimum, minimum spillage story of my life. Anyways, but yeah, I still have a lot of things I gotta do today. I'm gonna go visit a friend, help her out with the computer. Um, I got a bunch of other little things I got to do, like uh, pick up Chris and spend the weekend with her and all that good stuff. This is really dark in here, huh? What's going on with the lighting situation here? Yeah, that last little bit got cut off. Actually, the only thing I was just saying is uh, Lambo wanted to say hi. I had to refilm this and redo this because Lambo was insistent that I, I have to redo this, right? <laughs> yeah, you better, motherfucker. People <laughs> that don't know me. Um, I have absolutely no context between me and talking to my horse. I actually wonder what the fuck they think about. Actually, I really don't give a fuck, but it's pretty funny, though. You're probably thinking, man, this fucking guy is so crazy, always talking to his horse or in a horse voice. <laughs> Man, shout out to everyone out there living in Florida, especially in the South Florida area. I know these things can be a little scary, um, especially as it approaches. But as we all know from anyone that's a real Floridian, um, you know, this thing could look like a Category 4 worst hurricane in the fucking planet scenario. And then once it actually hits, it's like nothing. You know what I mean? Like it actually, you know, like sometimes thunderstorms are way worse than an actual hurricane. But sometimes it goes the other way around, where it's like a, a, a minimal hurricane, doesn't seem like it's going to do much, and then before you know it, the whole fucking place is leveled. So, you know, these things can go either way. And uh, as far as I can see here, I, I think my friends and family be, are going to be okay. 
because most of them are they live in Miami because that's where I'm from and it seems like it might actually be hitting Mar-a-Lago you know um, head first so I mean who the hell knows where this thing's going and how much damage it's gonna cause again it is hitting Florida and um, Florida is actually very prepared for the most part as prepared as any state could ever be for hurricanes so again just saying my whatever prayers and you know just hoping everybody's okay out there cuz you never know righty guys well I'm about to get the fuck out of here so I can go uh, do some work and uh, just uh, get my day started I know my day's already been started already been doing a bunch of stuff in fact more stuff than what I usually do on Friday but again the hustle never sleeps so you know even though I'm gonna go do a bunch of stuff and um, I got my day pretty full I'm I just keep adding on so like again I'm taking my camera seizing the opportunity to film another episode for whenever it's not even 10 30 a.m. and it's already so hot and so humid man this summer has been horrible and it's funny because all my friends and family back home in Miami you know they're just getting their rain on and over here is like where's the rain Alrighty, well, let's uh, get this uh, show on the road. Alright, let's uh, just get out of here before it just gets any hotter. There's no relief. <sighs> que calor, cojones. Look at that. Alright, done with errand number one. I'm on my way to errand number two. And then uh, hopefully um, I can finish early enough so that I can get my weekend started already. Um, but hey, it's all good though. It's all part of that hustle and never sleeps Also, not sure if you can tell but it's hot So hot look you can see the sweat in my arms that fucking hot. It's usually not this hot. It's again It's barely any it's not even it's not even 11 a.m. Or probably 11 a.m. Right now. Yeah, it's insane. Oh look the, the post office. I've been here before <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm almost here. I'm like a block and a half away two blocks away, so all right, I'll see you guys later today. Peace. Nice little art piece out here. Alrighty, appointment over. I'm on my way out of here. I'm about to go to Paseo Montejo to pick up Christian and uh, start the weekend. Hell yeah. Hells to the yeah. I'm, I'm doing a thumbs up here. So, alright, I'm going to see if I can start filming another episode. Uh, you know, just make the most out of my time, as you guys already know. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, I'll, I'll see you guys later today. Hope you guys are having a wonderful beginning to your weekend already. I guess it's Monday. Happy Monday morning to all you guys. Hope you guys are having an amazing start to your week already because I know I am. Hope you guys are out there surviving the hurricane, surviving uh, your Monday morning. Hope nobody has a case of the Mondays. And uh, yeah, all right, let me get this coffee going because uh, in my belly because I need it. We had the satellite, and this is just the absolute worst possible path that this storm could be taking over the northwestern Bahamas. Of course, it went over. Man, that shit looks rough. Wow. Category 5 over the Bahamas. It's a good thing that that shit's right offshore of uh, Florida. That should have been pretty gnarly if it would have hit Florida. Thank God it didn't hit Florida. And uh, all my friends and family down in Miami, 305 is uh, good and safe. Still, you know, anything could happen, but... Um, I think it's moving upwards, thank God. This shit looks scary as fuck. I can't even imagine uh, being, you know, in Florida right now, uh, you know, with this thing offshore. How crazy, right? Fucking nature, man. Nature is so beautiful and so scary and so wow. You know, today has been a little bit weird. Um, and it has nothing to do with my hair. Um... I just felt like a little weird. It feels almost like a Sunday-ish, but it's like, it's not a Sunday, it's a Monday. And then I looked at the calendar and I realized it's Labor Day. All right, not bad for uh, Labor Day. I've already uh, literally finished two videos. i um, just exporting the second one right now. And um, after that, I'm gonna start uh, 
answering some uh, text messages and emails that I just got. And, um, and then after that, I'm going to work on a promo for a client. And then after that, I don't know, I'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together. You guys will be here with me throughout the whole process. Happy Labor Day. All right. Well, I just uh, finished recording uh, episode Argentina that I wanted to do so I can upload today. Even though I already had an upload, eh, we can always push that one back. And I uh, wanted to talk about the Argentinian uh, debt crisis because uh, it's very important for all of us to know what the hell is going on. And, uh, you know, Lambo was actually, um, you know, working on the computer. So I had... Some, I had to figure out something to do. That's really why I filmed it. But regardless, um, Lambo, it's time to get the fuck out because I got to work. All right, just finished uh, filming a few episodes. Uh, couldn't help myself. Had a lot on my mind. Wanted to talk about Argentina, Venezuela, what's going on out there. You know, Lambo was using the computer. He didn't let me, uh, you know, do anything anyway. So he's already done with the computer. So now I can get back to work since I already filmed a few more episodes. Um... No, I really didn't do the thing for the client yet. I got time. I just got the fucking project. But um, I wasn't feeling inspired to do so. So that's a great thing about being an entrepreneur that um, I wasn't feeling it. So I just said, you know what I am feeling? These nuts. No, whatever. I, you know, I was recording a few episodes and these other things I wanted to talk about. So I was like, I did that. And now I'm going to edit those. And I'll definitely be, you know, working on that other video for my client later. And, uh, you know, just have it done soon because it's uh, kind of an easy project. But... You know, I'll do it later. I promise. He's not going to do shit. This guy's lazy as fuck. I'm going to do it, okay? I promise you, okay? I promise. All right, before I get too deep into what I got to do, I need some water. See, it's empty there. Got nothing there. So I got to go next door and get at least a gallon of water because the water guy is nowhere to be found. I sent him a text message. I haven't heard from him. It's, gonna, it's getting late. And... Um, I know if I can uh, go next door to my neighbor, she can sell me a gallon of water, and I might get a Coke for later. I know, don't drink Coke, no Coca-Cola. But um, as you guys can hear, I don't know if you guys heard that, um, it's starting to um, thunder and rain, and I can't even open this because I'm trying to do two things at once. But anyways, I'm gonna go get some water because otherwise I'm gonna have no water to drink, and remember what they say, don't drink the water out here, unless it's purified, unless it's purified, so. Now I'm going to, see I got my two gallons out here, so I got to get one, and I got to go and fill this motherfucker up. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go fill this guy up. <laughs> That's it. Man, it's hot. Anyways, the water guy is actually next door right now having lunch with uh, the same lady that was going to sell me the water, so they're just going to come over here and bring me some water, because I'm thirsty. Can't you tell? Alright. There you go. I got water. I didn't come out of the shower. I, it's literally just that hot and that humid. In fact, it's so hot and humid, and it's about to rain, and it looks like it's going to rain hard. I see a lot of dark black clouds heading my way and thunder. So I think I'm just going to um, jump in the shower now at 3 p.m. I know, it's early for me to shower and stuff, but um, I think it's going to be the best option now. I'm going to take a nice shower. It'll rain, it'll cool down, and I can work with a cool head and not be all fucking hot and messy and sweat and nasty and... It's fucking nasty, man. You know, it's funny because it, you, you guys are always asking me about the heat out here and stuff like that, but, you know, on days like this that are days like how Miami is every day, it reminds me, it's like, man, this is nice out here. Alright, well, just checking on the hurricane. Got some work done. You already know, getting late, about to eat something, and uh, upload the video, and uh, start working for tomorrow, because bright and early, I gotta work on that client's video. Anyways, any night, guys. Man, this hurricane's weird as fuck. Look at that shit. It's just in the same spot, it's not moving, it hasn't been moving for over a day. This shit ain't right, man. This shit's like a Category 5. This shit should be barreling through. Man. Morning, everybody. I just uh, escaped the hurricane. Actually, the hurricane hasn't even moved. It's been still in the same spot for, like, God knows how long already. It's been, like, what, two days? Day and a half? This shit is, like, uh, you know, one of those uh, scary movies. Uh, one of those, like, uh, 
What do you call those? Uh, what was it like that movie of uh, the end of times or whatever when they had like that big ass hurricane that never stopped moving or some shit like that? I don't know. It just looks too scary. It looks like a fucking scary movie. I need uh, I need to make I need to drink my coffee. All right, this will make me feel better. In fact, um, I'm gonna see if I can call my uh, my aunt, my family, and stuff like that. See how they're doing. Seems like nothing's happening. So, but still, I want to check in with them, and uh, so they can tell me first to hand account that it's barely even raining over there. But I can't even imagine how scary it must be to have that freaking thing like right on the shores of uh, you know you can see it from your house. Scary. Man. This shit is moving more than the freaking hurricane, literally. I know, I know. I was trying to do one of those little boomerang things, but then I realized that, you know. Alrighty, well, time for me to hit the road. I uh, got my camera with me, got my bags in my pocket, and I'm going to go to Walmart and Stuffs in order to go get some foods for me and for Lambo so that we can have stuff to eat. So many um, video ideas that I want to talk about today. Everything from censorship to stuff about Mexico to just so many things on my mind. And uh, literally up until I walk out that door and turn the camera on, that's when I decide exactly what I'm going to be talking about. Um, I really want to talk about censorship. I really want to talk about other things in my mind. But um, I got to make some Mexico videos. I got to talk about kitty cats. I got to talk about other subjects because otherwise my channel is going to get so censored it won't be around. Regardless, I'm probably not going to be talking about censorship right now. Maybe leave it for another day because uh, I forgot that uh, my friend out there, John, shout out to you. He sent me some uh, some videos and some homework and some information on, uh, you know, the censorship of, uh, you know, what's going on in Google, the real censorship of YouTube. And, you know, what's uh, a whistleblower, you know, someone that's, uh, you know, talking about how all that shit works. And uh, that way, when I have a little bit more context, uh, I can actually make a proper video talking about that stuff. Okay. You already know what time it is. It's uh, Mexican Independence Day. It's right around the corner. Hell yeah. Alrighty, well, I just finished playing my favorite game in the whole world. That's right, Walmart Tetris. I got three bags with me today, and they're all extremely heavy. I think I overdid it today. I'm going to attempt to do a walking and talking, you know, with all this uh, stuff on me. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm going to make it home, but hey, I guess I won't really find out until I actually try it. So uh, wish me luck, and um, I'll see you guys when I get home, and I'll be all sweaty and nasty and tired. Guys, I know I told you guys the next time you were going to see me, it was going to be all sweaty when I got home and stuff, but actually, I was having some trouble with the camera. I got home even sweatier than what I thought. I had to put away all my groceries. Then I started getting phone calls. I started getting texts, emails, uh, just one thing after another. And um, yeah, well, now I started my day ahead, you know, like making good time. And now I'm behind, just like this guy's behind me. But anyways, let me get back to work, all right, before I get even more behind. I, I think I need to answer this question because uh, I'm sure you guys are always wondering, like, what the fuck do I do for work? I know a lot of you guys do know what I do for work, but literally what I do for work is make videos whether it's videos for my channel whether it's videos for other people um, I also do so much more other things you know like I create websites I help people with social media I do all kinds of shit I'm literally a freelancer work for hire hu hustler extraordinaire so um, you know again that's why um, if you go to my literal if you go to my website joseatiaga.com you get to see um, a lot of uh, the services that I have to offer for you guys for purchase uh, anytime you guys want so well, without further ado, I really got to get back to work, literally, because as you guys know, I already I have a client's video pending that I was supposed to be working on yesterday, which I still haven't even touched, and I got to work on that, I guess, today, right? I definitely got to get that shit going, so, all right, anyways, got to go. What's up, guys? Good morning. Sorry if I got to check in a little while ago. I've just been running around like crazy, long night, late morning, you already know the drill. About to get ready um, to go live on YouTube, so I'll see you guys there. Don't forget to join me and Lambo in a few minutes, or actually, probably right now by the time you're watching this, on YouTube. We're doing a live stream, talking about crypto. Probably not Litecoin, most likely Bitcoin and other coins, but hey, you won't really find out until you actually tune in. 
We might talk about your favorite coin, so and other news and other kinds of stuff. So please just tune in and uh, we'll see you there. All right, guys. Well, show has been over for about an hour now. I just been catching up on a lot. I had a client that I was dealing with. Uh, I had an email I had to answer. I got some texts that are coming in now that I gotta deal with as well. Just very, very busy day. And um, on top of that, I actually woke up this morning with a little bit of a toothache, which is kind of weird. It's already going away, but you know, sometimes I get like a weird toothache from time to time and it's like, nothing's wrong with my tooth. I checked with the doctor, it's just weird. But anyways, back to work because I got a lot of shit I gotta still do and uh, I gotta put Lambo away and you know what, let me start getting Lambo back to his spot and that whole deal because you know, I got a lot of shit to do, so. All right, let's go Lambo, we gotta go. All right, see you guys in a bit. Oh guys, did you like that? I hope you did because, well, I mean, you made it all the way through and you're now watching uh, the ending. <laughs> but seriously, um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, being a part of this whole thing uh thank you so much for all your love and your support thank you uh, lambo says thank you as well and um seriously don't forget to please like please subscribe please share and uh please check here every single day for new videos i upload every single day literally no matter what i know i got an addiction <laughs> and i need more cowbell all right guys hey thank you so much for joining me and lambo this week today every day and um see you guys manana monday motivation motherfuckers hope you're ready hey guys guess what me and lambo are still here we haven't left yet you know why we're here because i want to tell you all about this new store that i just opened up yeah that's right it's our new sponsor as well let me tell you a little bit more about it so as you guys can see this is the store. I just opened up the store, I don't know, about a week ago, and um, I'm gonna be selling all my merch and all of our stuff here, whether it's Lambo stickers, whether it's, you know, mugs, t-shirts, jackets, you name it. We got all kinds of stuff that you guys can buy and um, help support the show. Now, you get to have your very own shirt or your very own Lambo sticker, and if you guys want any special requests on things, for me to put in the store then please by all means let me know and uh we'll get our graphic artist you know on top of it yeah that means you gotta work lambo all right guys thank you so much love you guys and i'll see you guys manana